the singles competition that's actually only kicking into life this evening. Kodai Narioka taking on Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. So looking at Group A and Group B, as I said, all of these players in action starting from this evening. Uh, Narioka, Shiuchi, Victor Axelsen and Ginting in Group A. That's what we're going to be watching right now. And I said we'll actually get a chance to watch Jonathan Christie against Kunlovit later on. But this has all the elements of an absolutely classic matchup. And out first, Kodai Narioka. One of the hottest sensations of 2023 in his first World Tour Finals appearance. And I wonder how many he's going to have in his career. Up against well, a really solid player, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Great value for money when it comes to an all round badminton player. He's got the shot skills. Of course, a double finalist before 2019 and 2022. It's his third appearance at the season ender. World number two, Narioka taking on the world number four. And a chance for Narioka to get a first win against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Never done that before, but of course, Kodai has been in great form recently. Picked up his first title a couple of, well, about a month ago, the China Masters, Shenzhen. And there's confirmation of that 2-0 uh, head-to-head. -head. Last time they met was at the Hilo Open, Ginting winning in straight games, 21-13, 21-19. This one could go the distance. Both players very happy to play out the rallies. Narioka especially is making it very much his trademark to make it a war of attrition than anything else. Just 22 years old, but has made such a great impact. Born in Amori in Japan. And in addition to that China Masters win, semi finalist at the Japan Open and the Career Open. He was, uh, and the Canada Open as well. Singapore and runner up at the Malaysian Open right at the start of the year. That's where he made his, started making his big impact. As for his opponent, oh, Anthony Ginting, number four in the world now, but has everything you need to be a great badminton player. Bronze medalist at the Olympic Games, 27-year-old from Chumahi in Indonesia, has been as high as two. And this year, well, I said he's a double finalist here at the World Tour Finals itself, uh, semi-finalist at the Hong Kong Open, runner-up at the Indonesian Open, his home open. Um, won the Singapore Open and also semi-finalist in India at the start of the year. And that's what it's all about at the World Tour Finals. It's not anymore just about what you've won. Each of these players uh, in both of the groups have shown the consistency you need to make it and get the invite to be up here at the season ender. And that's what it's all about. So the basics and the fundamentals are of succeeding on the tour well, every member, well, every participant, I should say, of the World Tour Finals is already good enough at that. Um, but now it's all about desire. Now it's all about how much you want it. And for a player like Kodai Narioka, well, he has shown with that win at the China Masters that he can take it all the way. That's one thing. And he also is unfazed as to all of his opponents. So he's got everything he needs to succeed this week. But he is up against the best. As I said, Chi Chi, Victor Axelsen, also in this group. And they are no pushovers at all. So I'm part for this one, Xu Xiaofeng. And 
joined by our service judge, Jesper Hedam Larsen. This one's going to be an absolute cracker. While they get ready and warm up, just a reminder, no results yet from the morning session for men's singles. Men's singles action on both courts, except for this evening. the great shot maker and Ginting great court mover from Ginting. Now with both of these players very much happy with playing out full length rallies, I wonder if the strategy for either of them is going to be to be a little bit more incisive, to come in and look for the kill a little bit earlier. about being a bit incisive jumps nails it into the corner And there's that incisive shot once again. Said Ginting, a two time finalist. This time lost out to Kento Momoto in 2019. And then Axelson in 2022 Hello. last year. And of course, with Victor being in this group, that means a repeat of that final is set for, oh, it looks like Friday. Black. A bit too quickly Red for that kill. Black for you. 
course, I Your should choice. really correct myself. It's not a repeat of the final. Decide. It's a repeat of Receive. the matchup. You will serve. Uh, let's see if they do manage to make it through to Sunday. Of course, no Akane Yamaguchi this week. That's a big miss for the tournament. Still recovering from injury. Victor Axelsen himself has had a couple of run-ins with injuries in the last few months, but seems to be in good form. That's a beautiful shot, absolutely on the line. Well, I can tell you now, that on court one, Chen Yufei is playing Han Yue. That's the other two players in that group B. That's just watched from Marin and Zhang. I'll keep you updated on exactly who is Coming on top there, that's very delicate in the net. Tarioka comes through, 5-4. Ready to play? Straight onto the attack for Ginting. Just couldn't connect there. Six, that too long so a couple of errors Ladies the last three points on my right Narioka ahead wow that's not just wide it's almost a miss hit for Playing like Ginting, way off. One Bit of a slip there by Ginting, recovered well. Now he's on the back foot. Just glued that to the top of the net. Have a look at this. I even took a little tumble right at the end. Thank you. Wonderful play by Ginting. That's going to go wide. Six, eight. 
Ambitious. So it's over. Backhand from Kinti doesn't make six. it. And it's just these little errors that are creeping into his game that led to this three point lead for Kodai. The overview enough. The overview doing well enough. Has managed to engineer a lead here in the face of a great attacking drive by his opponent. So the mid game interval, eleven seven. Kirinya dia dia siap terus. Tapi kalau emang And back on court for phase two of oh, game one. Eleven seven. Play. Again, just lots of pressure from Ginting, and he just can't finish it off. How many times have we seen that point played well, out already? Seven. Pushing from the attack, right from the return of serve. But just that final wow. shot lets him down. 12-7. Pick up by Kodai, and we have to, I have to say, well, that win has finally worked for Ginting, but all credit to Kodai Nairoka for dashing around court. His court coverage has been brilliant, keeping these rallies alive every time Anthony is trying to finish them off. A 
As I said earlier, it really is about efficiency when it comes to this season ender. And it's also in your best interest to not have the most energy sapping of matches, seeing as how all the other <laughs> opponents you're going to face this week are just top quality. So it really is about a compact, efficient, effective strategy. You get to see the wins. Ginting. Thank you. in challenge being called I have to admit it's probably edge of the line but I do believe it's on the line got a great commentary perch up here right above the court well, let's see what Hawkeye has to say there you go edge of the line Actually, a little bit more edge of the line than I thought. They're very lucky for Ginting. So, it's over. 9-14. So, 9-14. And this would be a great opportunity for the world number four. Play. To cut into this lead before things get critical. Again, he's pushed that wide though. So it's over. Well, it's got to be frustrating for him. He rests control of these points early on, but it's just that finishing touch it needs to be pulled in. Thank you. Coach, 16 9. And that's long. Seven, eight, nine. I have to say, I can't really see Kodai the way he's doggedly chasing down each of these points. I can't see him losing this first game now. That's another error from Ginting. Okay. Difficult nine. with that. A little bit of wind drift behind him. Over. 11, oh, Tex 
textbook. Beautiful cross court. Look at the way he gets around that with the footwork. The jump and it is pinpoint. Well, he's put his hand up for a challenge. Well, I think that really did look like it caught the breeze. I think he'll be lucky. Over. I can't. Play. I I two points away now from securing this first game. Oh. It's gone long too. Well, let's see if he has better luck from the other side of the court. But this first game. 10 chances for Kodai Narioka to nail it down. And he only needed one. It's another mistake from Ginting. Okay. And after Number just one 21 minutes, it's 21-10. Sabar. Kamu ada serangan, tapi kamu buka juga karena bolanya sedikit aneh. Jadi kamu serang-serang kasih, baru kamu cepetin lagi gitu. Jadi sedikit serang, defend dikit baru serang balik. Tapi sambungannya tuh, kalau kamu dari tak, kamu gini-gini aja, ganggu-ganggu aja. Ya kan, bukan mau bunuh, ganggu sambungannya. Karena dia pasti baliknya juga agak sedikit kencang gitu. Jadi kamu tinggal tak, tak gitu. Baru kamu Court for game two, and I wonder if we're going to see Kodai open up his shot arsenal a little bit more. Hats off to him for playing reactive and really replying well. Second game, level play. And now it's really about Anthony Ginting stepping up. Let's see if this other side of the court benefits him well. Oh, 
Ray Riley, what a recovery from Ginting. That's what I mean about getting around the court. Now he's on the attack. Oh, it's a mistake from Narioka. Great rally. But what a recovery from Ginting in the middle of that. He literally had to track back. And here it is. Six, seven steps and still manages to get that shot in straight onto the attack and then it's a mistake from Kodai. Water rally. Unbelievable court mobility from Anthony Ginting. Snap back return from Kodai. Not high enough. Look at that, Ginty hitting into the breeze. He's finding great value. Let's take from Kodai now. Four, love. Line. Very tough. Five, love. Can you make challenges fall seen it happening Six. well we Nine. saw it happening in the women's singles group b match that opened up proceedings on court two now continuing on in this men's singles group a match that drift a little bit significant down at that back line in the top of your screen oh what a winner down the line from ginting so far, a clean shutout in the second game. Seven love. Thank you. Well, that's a wonderful shot by Kodai dipping into front court, but I have to say, wow. even in that point, to say that Ginting is playing better from that side of the court would have to be the understatement of the year. He really has found his range from that. What can Kodai do to upset that rhythm?
think that might be the first mistake we've seen from Ginting so over. in the second game. Two, eight. Again, everything else in the build-up was perfect. Created the space and then just too enthusiastic with the killing Three, blow. Straight onto the attack for Ginting, but it's the Four, net once again eight. that derails him. He's looking to plug that into back court. Position there, getting already on the attack again. Oh, wonderful response from Kodai. Five, eight. that for a snap back return over, nine, five. very difficult area of the body just off the right shoulder I to Three. thank you hit back Did enough. Ten, five. So, second mid game interval looming. Ginting uh, looking far more composed from that side of the court. Five, four. Oh, great bit of defense from Ginting. So 11-5. And this match heating up.
So back on court for the all important second phase. Game two. Anthony Ginting so far looking good. In his quest to force a decider. 11 5. Play. Five. Tricky serve from Ginting. 12, 5. Wonderful play. 13, 5. Another look over at his coach. Still not 100% on those soft drops at the net. Well, he loves those shots. The lift comes back too high. It's just perfect. 14, six. Right seven, in his hitting zone. Eight, Very fluid action from him. Over. Over. Once again, eight, soft seven, drop 14. on the left hand side from his view. Not working for him. Control from Kodai. Eight, fourteen. Good pressure. Two bit over. Five team, eight. Can you face challenges for any? Enough to force the error. So it's over. Nine, five, eight. Well, with a buffer of six points, it's not unduly concerning right now for Ginting, but Kodai sneaking up. Well, he got the point, but I don't know if he was going to be too happy with the clip on the net. Helped along. So much caught to aim at. Switched his stance. 17, nine. And sends it about a foot wide. Oh, Ginting looking in very good stead now to snatch this second game. Oh. 
rigtig. Nej. Usually, when he'll hit his spot, if he gets into that action. So two points away from securing the second game. So it's over. Ten, Great nine, read from Narioka. <laughs> Once again, he leave it that high in his hitting zone. And that's pretty much point over. But it is interesting to remind you that from that side of the court because Ginting was having a couple of range issues from this driftier side of the court. Okay. So 21-10 and we're on to our first decider. So back on court for this deciding game. A couple of words there from Henry Saputra, Ginting's coach. Now, as I said before, it's all about effective, efficient wins. And now with both players dropping a game, that really can only play into the ambitions of the other two players in this group, Xiu Chi and Victor Axelsen. Oh, that's in. Immediate challenge being called. And the reason I say that is, of course, if Xiu Qi and Victor can get themselves some straight games wins, then their game difference is going to be higher, of course. And that might just be one of the significant factors that comes into play. That is out. A great example of that, of course, is in the men's doubles. That's Group A of Yu Chen, Zhuang Yi, Hoki Kobayashi, Chia Yik, and 
Wei Kang Shang, all of them shared games today. Play. It's plus one, plus one, minus one in terms of game difference. Whole different ball game when it comes to group stage dynamics like this. But I'm sure that what's really important to both these players right now is just getting the win. And Ginting now playing in the slightly breezier side of the court. Gone long. Three, one. Oh, seems to be facing the same problems he did in the first game, and that is a worrying, ominous sign. Needs to tighten that up, bring it a bit more short if he can. Again, couldn't finish it off. But he had an iron fist on that point. Sent Kodai one way and was looking into all that open space. But as has been the case today, it just stared a bit too long into the abyss. And he sent that long. Lucky. Serve back with Kodai, 4-1 up. Patient build up. Pick up by Ginting. That's gone long. The bit over. Two, four. Seventeen, four. I think that really is the key for Ginting. Playing from this side of the court. He just has to be really patient and composed in his build up. Threaded the needle. Three, four. That was in football terms near post. Today. Look at that. He had about two foot to aim at. And he got it straight down the line. Three, four. Great little comeback.
Such an interesting service action for Mother Narioka. Just sets himself up and then shuffles behind his right foot. To get into final position before the serve. See it right here as well. Sets himself up. There's the shuffle. Great return. Round the head. Slightly falling to his left. But nails it. 7 3. Just changed direction on that in the last minute, but still deadly accurate. Keeping pace, not letting Kodai get out. Look at that jump action. Looked like he was going to go down the line right to the last minute. But instead, Fires left to right. A couple of points on the serve would be very handy for the Indonesian. of a hold on that. Well, I can also just quickly update you in that uh, Group B women's singles match from Court 1, Chen Yufei and Han Yuei into a third and deciding game. Following on to what I said, well, that's going to play right Nine, into four. Carolina Marin's hands because that means that their game difference between the two Chinese players will be maximum plus one, minus one. Whereas, of course, she is nicely sitting on a plus two game difference after that win against Bei Wan Zhang that we watched earlier. The stories are evolving in each of the categories, and it's only day one. Over. Five. Nine. Five nine. As we approach the third and final mid-game interval, chance for Anthony Ginting to cut into this four-point deficit. Weighted shot from Ginting. Oh, and there comes the power, and he's absolutely on point. Brilliant play from the wall number four. Thank you. Like oh, mistake from Kodai. Oh, that's 
gone long. So down to one point. This has been a sustained step-by-step -step comeback for Ginting in this third. Big shot. One of the first shots we've seen from Ginting in a while that was aiming for backcourt. He's done very well in keeping in a mid-court game. And this quest to come back tied up Red, well intercepted. Such a crucial point. Nine, Playing all the angles, Ginting, but still Narioka is there. Oh, and then the mistake. 11 9 at the final interval. So here we go. This is what it's all about. Final phase of action in this match. Just two points in it. You can scrub away the first game, scrub away the second game. Now a race to who can get the next 10 or 11 points. Ginting back on that good side, or relatively good side of the court. Misses his Twelve, first shot. Nine. Gone long. So they've just hit one hour on court. Well, that was 
so flat when it came to him. And a difficult position for him to return as well. Just couldn't get enough lift on it. 14-10. Ambitious. And ultimately ineffective. Oh, look how quickly Ginting got back into position there. And that's gone long. Service over. Well, it was two points at the break. It's now four points. And I'd love to say this was all from Narioka's design, but it isn't. There have been a few more errors creeping in. Kenting's going to have to watch that. He needs to win these next two points. Oh, bit of a slip from Ginting. Settled himself nicely, considering. And unsurprisingly, that mop coming out. And that could have been a much more costly slip. There he is. Ooh, that could have been a lot worse. Scampers forward, gets the shot, and survives the rally. Again, amazing coverage, just couldn't keep it in. He is just so fast around the court. Low center of gravity, not the tallest player. But powerful jump off and can really cover that court well. Beautifully played by Narioka, who's just flying at this point. 17-12, five points up, four points needed. Might be the last chance for Anthony Ginting to hold Kodai at this score. It's that boost of confidence. The dream gets that much more real when you get past 17 points in the third. No, not that time. In all honesty, there wasn't much Kota Narika could do from that position. The high lift was the only option, really. And Ginting tracks back so well. Absolutely pummels it. Good start. 14-17. Needs these next two points. Just guided that 
to the other side of the court. Look at this. Hardly any power put on that, and it was perfect. Leon. trick in the book from Anthony Gintig now. Another wonderful point. Look at the shot variety here. Goes soft and pushes straight to the body. There's one point in it. from Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Five points behind, and now he's tied it up. That's unbelievable aggression from him. Rushed forward, punched his way through. He's got the serve. And Narioka's got to be wondering what he's going to do next. So this is it. First of four points from here. It's been a hard-fought match. It's been flashes of brilliance from both players. But Ginting now currently on the rise at just the right time. It's a wonderful touch from him, and he's absolutely floored Narioka. Just the tiniest of touches, and he's taken the lead. He was five points behind. Look at that, just a tiny touch, and Narioka is stretched out to the max. Well, Henry Sabutra has got nothing but praise for him. And this really has been quite the turnaround from Anthony Ginting. Well, as they say in racket sports, the ball is in your court. Of course, we can't say that here because it's really the shuttles in your court. But Ginting has forged this opportunity and held him at 17. It literally was the last chance saloon. And he's got a chance now. He's got to keep it tight. Let's see what he does. Well, that was a dangerous clear, but he's got it. Now Narioka's off, set, wow! Nineteen seventeen. Another point where he's pushed Narioka to the limit. Once he was out of position, and it was just a matter of time. Held him at 17 points. Take that from him. Well, Narika gets the serve back. 18 19. But really, this match has come down to this last five points. And while they're getting ready for that, I can tell you Chen Yu Fei has come through as the winner. On court one in that group B for women's singles. Sahara and Carolina Marin up at the top of that group. Oh, wonderful return! 
That's how you do it. Ginting read that so well. What a return. He was all over it. And now he's got himself two match points. Thoroughly deserved, I might add. He has been all over the second phase of game three. Keep it tight. Oh, is that it? It is, he's done it. What a match. What a performance from the world number four. He just went into overdrive. And he's come through 21-18, 72 minutes. And his fans, as you can hear it, at the Hangzhou Olympic Sports Center, are ecstatic, even a smile from Kodai because he realizes what a fantastic performance that was. Great match. Right on the line.